Here are seven signs your iPhone could be compromised. Now, if you have your iPhone and it's been acting a bit weird, you think that maybe somebody might be tracking you or getting your information, or there's just something weird going on with what you've seen or how it's acted. I'm gonna walk you through seven different steps that you can take to ensure that your privacy is protected and no one has access to your iPhone and it's not compromised. The first step we're gonna do is head into your settings and tap on your name at the very top here. We're gonna check to see if there are unauthorized purchases on your iPhone using the card on your phone. So let's scroll down and tap on media and purchases here. And then you can see view account. Let's tap on view account. And from here, you can see the third option down in the second category is purchase history. Tap on purchase history and check to see if all of these apps and in-app subscriptions, everything from your purchase history looks okay and is stuff that you actually purchase. Of course, if there is something on here that you don't recognize, then potentially someone else has access to your Apple account and that they have gone through and made purchases without your permission. And you might need to go in and change your password and help protect everything. Now let's go back. If that looks okay, then the next step that we're going to do is go back out of here. We're going to tap on general, and then we're going to scroll to the very bottom. You can see towards the bottom there is VPN and device management. Tap on that, and you can see here if there's a VPN or more specifically a device management profile, that is what you're looking for. It'll look something like this. It will say something like remote management, and you can tap on it and see at the very bottom, it should say remove management, just like it does there. So if you do see a management profile on here that you don't recognize, then that's a good indication that someone has accessed your phone or that they have access to control certain configurations or settings on your phone. I would recommend if you don't recognize that, if it's not basically installed by your school or by your employer, go in and delete any device management that you don't recognize, as well as any VPN that you don't recognize. Now, after we've done that, let's just go back out of here and we'll scroll to the very bottom and tap on apps. Another way that your phone could be compromised is that it is forwarding phone calls or text messages. So let's look for those. Let's tap on messages here. And then let's scroll down and you can see text message forwarding. Now you can see it is forwarding my text messages from my phone over to my MacBook Pro, which is okay. I know that I have that device and I'm okay with my text being forwarded to that device. But if there is a device on here that you don't recognize, make sure you turn that off. You don't wanna forward your text messages again from your phone to some other random device that will be able to see any of those texts. Now let's go back and check the same thing for your phone calls. Let's so go back here, scroll down and tap on phone. Now you can see if I scroll down is call forwarding. Tap on call forwarding. And again, if this is turned on, if your phone is forwarding calls from your phone over to some other phone or some other phone number that you don't recognize, again, this is a security risk for you and a privacy risk. I would recommend turning that feature off. Now, after we've done all those things, the next thing that I would recommend doing is checking to see if there's a location service or a green dot or yellow dot at the very top of your phone. So for instance, if I open up the camera app here, let's open it up and open up video and say I start recording a quick video and end it. I can swipe down from the top right and you can see at the very top it says camera and system services. Now, the nice thing is that your iPhone will have a little green dot or orange dot or a blue kind of arrow indicating what your iPhone is using regarding your privacy. In this case, it says my camera was used to access my camera recently, as well as my microphone. And then system services within my setting is accessing my location right now. So I would recommend swiping down and checking to see what is on this list and essentially make sure that you're okay with it. If you're not okay with any of those, you can go back into settings here. Let's go all the way back, tap on privacy and security. And for instance, location, you can tap on that and turn off location services for a specific app that you don't want using your location or sending your location. 
And then you can also go back and for instance, you can tap on camera and choose to turn off the camera for various apps. For instance, say Amazon is using my camera and I don't want it to, you can always turn off that feature so that that app will no longer have access to that feature. The next thing I would recommend doing is let's go all the way back out of here and we will tap on cellular right under Bluetooth. And then let's scroll down. What you're looking for is what your phone is using for cell data. You can see here, Reddit, Photos, Safari, Google Maps. Now, if you look at these, essentially what you're looking for are apps that you use regularly. If you see an app towards the top of this list that you don't use regularly, for instance, let's say I haven't really used Reddit recently, I haven't opened it up in the last 24 hours or last week, and it's using up a ton of data, that is a sign that potentially there's an issue with that app and it could be compromised or just there could be a bug in it. So basically check this to see, does this match up with what I have used data for? If you see an app that you don't recognize, you can always turn that off to disable its access to your cell data, or I would recommend deleting it and offloading it. I'll show you how to do that in another step. Now, after we've done that, let's check the same thing for battery life. So tap on battery and you're going to check to see what apps have used your battery. Again, look through this list to make sure these are apps that you recognize and that you have used. So you can see within the last 24 hours or the last 10 days, this should be apps that I use regularly. You can see here, for instance, if I didn't use the Google Maps app and you can see it spent an hour and 37 minutes on screen and 27 minutes in the background, especially if it has a really large background battery activity. This is another sign that there could be an app that you put on your phone and it could be compromised. If you don't necessarily use that app, but it's using up a lot of your ba uh, battery life, then I would recommend probably deleting that app from your phone. The next thing we'll do is we'll go back out of here and we'll tap on general and then iPhone storage. From iPhone storage here, you're gonna check to see which apps are on your phone. This will list every single app on your phone and you can always filter it by the name. I would recommend going through this entire list because essentially if your phone could be compromised, they could have downloaded and installed a app on your phone to help kind of track you or just without your permission. So I would recommend going into any of these apps that you don't recognize. You can just hit the delete button to delete that app. Again, go through this long list depending on how many apps you have and you might want to delete out all of these that you don't recognize to make sure that any specific app that you don't remember downloading and installing or not on your phone itself. I hope this helps. This is go going through all of these steps to make sure that everything on your phone is looking good. It's settings that you want, privacy that you're okay with sharing. It's making sure that no access to your phone is being granted without your permission. Going through all these steps, if they all check out and they all look good, then your iPhone should be good to go. If it is not, then you can go through various steps like wiping out your data, deleting an app, turning off text message or mail or phone forwarding. You could take it to an Apple store to make sure they plug it in, run some diagnostics, make sure there aren't any issues with the iOS operating system as well. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys.